All right, this is our tug of war. This is our first competition for the second period class of the robotic science class for 2008-2009. We have tug of war robots that have been designed by these students over the last couple of weeks. This is their first official challenge. We're gonna follow all the tug of war rules. We have robots that have been built to be strong, they are heavy, and they are tough. And the goal here is to pull the other robot across the line. If any part of the robot falls off, that robot loses. We'll see how it goes. Good luck. Robot builders, are you ready? On your marks, get set, go. You have a stalled motor right here. This motor isn't turning. That means that it's taking away the electricity right out of the battery. Ready. Okay, everyone scoot back away from the table. On your marks, get set, go. <laughs> Tug of War was the first Robo Challenge event. The original Tug of War rules were developed in 2001 in order to have a competition that would allow students of all ages to participate and still leave room for plenty of creative engineering. Since 2001, hundreds of students have participated in RoboChallenge Tug of War events. To this day, it continues to be one of our most popular competitions. Who's gonna win? Chicken At RoboChallenge events, we've seen great tug-of-war robots built by students of all ages. We've had robots built by kindergartners, elementary school students, junior high and high school students, college students, and even post-graduates. We've seen designs that were very large and incredibly complex, and others that were very small and simple. Tug-of-war is a great way to introduce and apply many basic ideas of mathematics and science in a fun, competitive, open-ended challenge. This video includes information such as the rules of tug of war, how to run matches, and ideas for building simple tug bots. For additional information and resources, I highly recommend that you check out the Robo Challenge website. Just do a Google search for Robo Challenge and take a look at the tutorials page to find more information. The concept behind Tug of War is simple. Two robots pull on opposite ends of a string, attempting to pull the other robot to the middle. The robot that reaches the middle first loses. The winner is often the strongest robot, but many factors determine which robot wins. There is no guaranteed best design for Tug of War. The basic rules include a maximum mass of one kilogram. That's 1,000 grams. The robot must be safe. The robot must have a legal way to connect the toe string. The string must be connected to the robot so that no part of the robot extends past the paperclip in the direction of the opponent's robot. In other words, the string must be attached to the side of the robot facing the opponent. Here are some examples of correct ways to attach the string to your robot. Here are some examples of ways that would not be legal in a tug-of-war match. It is legal for your robot to have its own string to extend the string that is used as the toe string. In this case, the string that you add is considered to be part of your robot. In other words, if any part of that string crosses the line, your robot also loses. The robot must wait five seconds before pulling. And the robot loses the trial if any part of it comes off.
It's easy to set up a match between two tug-of-war robots. Running a competition with several robots can require a little more preparation, but is also not terribly difficult. 90% of the time, the winner in a tug-of-war match is very easy to determine. One robot will pull the other across the line. Only rarely do you need to use rules governing ties or awkward situations. Tug-of-war can be run in a variety of situations. Nearly any room can be used, as long as there is a smooth surface or some level tables. Tug-of-war competitions can also be run outdoors. To make tug-of-war a nice spectator event, it is useful to have seating or bleachers, or an elevated stage. College lecture halls work nicely. At a minimum, the following supplies are necessary. A string, two paper clips, and a flat surface. You may also need a ruler and a stopwatch. The string should be measured so that the two paper clips are securely tied about two feet or 60 centimeters apart. It is helpful to have a mark at the midpoint of the string and a taped line on the table or flat surface. For other ideas and advice about how to run matches and tournaments, see the tutorial page on the RoboChallenge website. There you'll also get information about how to handle difficult situations that may come up in tug-of-war. Any robot that can move or pull a string can be a tug-of-war robot. The most basic robots are wheeled robots, usually with four wheels powered by two motors, one on each side. Here are some ideas for building some very basic tugbots. To get started, try building a slow, strong, wheeled robot that can pull the string. To do this easily, you can use the instructions included with the LEGO Mindstorms Robotics Invention System 2.0 to build the basic driving base with four wheels. To improve the traction, you can try adding weight to this robot. If you're using LEGO Mindstorms NXT, you can build a simple robot with just a couple of motors and some way to connect the string. Later, you can experiment with gears, wheels, and mass to improve your design. Here are some other ideas for tug-of-war robots. Friction. Torque. Force. Velocity. Acceleration. Speed. Balance. Unbalanced forces. Strategy. Communication. Design. Creativity. Planning. Engineering. Experience. Problem solving. Computer, Computer programming. Teamwork. Competition. Fun! For additional information, and access to resources, visit the Tug of War tutorial page. Try some of the links for advice on how to build different robots, programming, and how to run competitions. Good luck with your Tug of War robots.